in each of the exercises 1 to 9 find the coordinates of the foci, the vertices, the length of the major axis, the minor axis, the eccentricity and the length of the lattice rectum of the ellipse. Let us proceed with the solution of each question one by one. In our first question the given equation is x square over 36 plus y square over 16 is equal to 1. Since the denominator of x square upon 36 is larger than the denominator of y square upon 16, therefore the major axis will be along x axis. Since the denominator of x square over 36 is larger than the denominator of denominator of y square over 16 so the major axis the major axis is along the x axis and now on comparing the given equation with the standard form now on comparing the given equation the given equation with the standard form with the standard form of the ellipse of the ellipse x square over a square plus y square over b square is equal to 1 so here we see that on comparing the standard form with that of the given equation here we have a square is equal to 36 and B square is equal to 16 this implies that A is equal to 6 and B is equal to 4 and now with the help of A and B we can easily find the value of C here we have C is equal to under root of A square minus B square this is equal to under root of A square is 6 square that is 36 minus B square is 4 square that is 16 this gives us 36 minus 16 is 20 so we have C is equal to root 20 or we can also say that c is equal to 2 root 5 root 20 can be written as 2 root 5 and now we know that the focus of an ellipse whose major axis is along x axis are plus minus c comma 0 and vertices are at plus minus a comma 0 so here we can say that foci of this ellipse are at 2 root 5 comma 0 and minus 2 root 5 comma 0 vertices are at vertices are at 6 comma 0 and minus 6 comma 0 length of major axis is equal to 2a that is 2 times of 6 this is equal to 12 and length of minor axis is equal to 2b that is 2 into 4 this is equal to 8 and eccentricity of this ellipse is given by c over a that is 2 root 5 upon 6 this gives us root 5 upon 3 and finally we can say that the length of the lattice rectum is equal to 2b square over a so substituting the values of b and a here we have 2 into b square will be 16 over a is 6 this will give us 16 upon 3 so this completes our solution let us see the next problem in the second question the given equation of the ellipse is x square over 4 plus y square over 25 is equal to 1 let us call it as equation 1 since the denominator of y square upon 25 is greater than the denominator of x square upon 4 therefore the major axis of this ellipse will be along y axis here since the denominator of y square over 25 is greater than is greater than the denominator denominator of x square over 4 
therefore the major axis the major axis of this ellipse is along y axis so on comparing the given equation on comparing the given equation with the standard form x square over b square plus y square over a square is equal to 1 this is the equation of an ellipse whose major axis is along y axis call it as equation 2 so on comparing equation 1 and 2 here we see that a square is equal to 25 and b square is equal to 4 so here we have we have a square is equal to 25 and b square is equal to 4 this implies that a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 2 now we know that with the help of a and b we can easily find c we have c is equal to under root of a square minus b square so plugging the values of a and b here we have 5 square is 25 minus 2 square is 4 is equals to under root of 25 minus 4 is 21 so we have c is equal to under root of 21 well we know that the foci of this ellipse are at 0 comma plus minus c vertices are at 0 comma plus minus a length of major axis is 2a length of minor axis is 2b eccentricity is given by c over a and length of lattice rectum is equal to 2b square over a therefore here we can say that the foci of this ellipse are at 0 comma root 21 and 0 comma minus root 21 also vertices are at 0 comma 5 and 0 comma minus 5 length of major axis length of major axis is equal to 2 into a that is 2 into 5 this gives us 10 length of minor axis is equal to 2 into b this is equal to 2 into 2 this gives us 4 eccentricity is equal to c over a so substituting the values of c and a here we have under root of 21 upon 5 and finally length of lattice rectum is equal to 2 b square over a this gives us 2 into b square is 4 over a is 5 so we have 8 upon 5 so this completes our solution let us see the third problem in the third problem the equation of ellipse given to us is x square over 16 plus y square over 9 is equal to 1 here we can see that the denominator of x square over 16 is greater than the denominator of y square over 9 so the major axis will be along x axis since the denominator denominator of x square over 16 is greater than greater than y square over 9 so the major axis major axis is along the x axis and now on comparing the given equation with the standard form of ellipse whose major axis is along x axis that is x square over a square plus y square over b square is equal to 1 here we see that a square is equal to 16 b square is equals to 9 this implies that a is equal to 4 and b is equals to 3 and with the help of a and b we can easily find c we have c is equal to under root of a square minus b square this is equal to 4 square that is 16 minus 3 square that is 9 this gives us under root of 7 so we have c is equal to root 7 well we know that the foci of this ellipse are at plus minus c comma 0 vertices are at plus minus a comma 0 eccentricity is equal to c over a length of major axis is 2a length of minor axis is 2b and length of lattice rectum is 2b square over a so here we have foci 
of the given ellipse are at root 7 comma 0 and minus root 7 comma 0 vertices are at 4 comma 0 and minus 4 comma 0 length of major axis is equal to 2a that is 2 into 4 this gives us 8 length of minor axis is equal to 2b this is equal to 2 into 3 which is equal to 6 eccentricity is equal to c over a so substituting the values of c and a here we have root 7 over 4 and finally length of lattice rectum is equal to 2b square over a so substituting the values of b and a here we have 2 into b square is 9 over a is equal to 4 this is equal to 9 by 2 so this completes our solution let us see the next question